And the latest on the JNK targeted killings, the JNK Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha, who is in Delhi, met Union Home Minister Amit Shah. The meeting took place for over 90 minutes inside North Block in the national capital. And remember, this key meet between the LG of JNK and the Union Home Minister comes an hour before the Union Home Minister Amit Shah is all set to chair a high-level crucial meet to review the security situation in the valley. Remember, this development comes amid a spate of killings of uh, civilians and non-locals in the Wali. Uh, very recently, in fact, just yesterday, a bank employee was shot dead in Kulgam. Day before yesterday, on June 1, a, a government school teacher, Mrs. Rajni Bala, was also targeted and shot dead by the terrorists. And as the spate of killings continue in the Wali, and with the Kashmiri pundits now united, Fighting against the atrocities and giving an ultimatum and in fact leaving the valley. This crucial development comes where uh, the LG who is in Delhi called on uh, the Union Home Minister for over 90 minutes and remember at 3 p.m. just one hour from now uh, the Union Home Minister Amit Shah will be chairing a crucial high-level meeting to assess the security situation in the valley and I'm being joined by my colleague Priyank live on the broadcast. Priyanka, very good afternoon to you. Uh, a very crucial development ahead of Union Home Minister Amit Shah chairing a high-level meeting to assess the security situation in the valley. What more do we know about this meet between the JNK LG and Amit Shah? Yeah, good evening. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, see, basically, uh, before this crucial meeting could begin, uh, the three important stakeholders of uh, providing security in the state of Jammu and Kashmir uh, were present at the Ministry of Home Affairs, which include uh, Lieutenant Governor of uh, Jammu and Kashmir, Mr. Manoj Sinha, as well as uh, Lord Chief Saman Khuel and uh, the DGP of Punjab, Dilbak Singh. All these three people were present here and they had a brief uh, discussion among themselves uh, that uh, what should be the further strategy which they need to opt uh, in the due course of time because uh, at 3 p.m. there has to be a proper presentation uh, which need to be given to the Home Minister uh, for the further strategy which uh, the stakeholders of the security will be in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Because uh, since uh, the abrogation of 370, there have been series of threat, but these kind of uh, selective targeted killing, uh, which is happening at a con uh, you know, continuous interval, uh, was not seen earlier. So this is a proper strategy which has been opted by these uh, you know, terrorist organization by hiring these uh, hybrid terrorists uh, who are hired uh, in a short span and then after carrying out the assassination attempt, they again go back to their normal life. So what is the strategy which the government need to do uh, to tackle this kind of a new uh, you know, situation which is emerging in the valley and uh, the claim of the opposition party that they have in the mass exodus uh, on uh, the few uh, tweet and few viral video which is coming out are the prime important factor on which the MAJ will be having a uh, meeting at 3 p.m. today. Uh, but since uh, there's a high-level meeting which is expected at 3, uh, the three important stakeholders were here at the Ministry of Home Affairs uh, for the two hours, their meeting has just ended. They have gone back and once again we are expecting that at uh, quarter to three, all these important people including uh, the, uh, the army chief will also be present here so that uh, further strategy can be decided. Priyank, thank you for all those inputs. So clearly all eyes are now set on Union Home Minister Amit Shah's high-level meeting to assess the security situation in the valley.